everyone. Welcome to Extended Play from Shiny Entertainment in Laguna Beach, California. I'm Adam Sessler. And I'm Kate Patello. Now, Shiny is renowned for bringing you such distinctly kooky titles as Earthworm Jim and MDK. And, of course, the excellent and innovative Sacrifice. Now, when we talk about these games, we often refer to the term engines. But we've never really explained what that means. So here's a look at what drives some of our favorite games. <laughs> An engine is an engine, it's, it's the, the guts of the game. A game engine is something that basically can provide the entire framework. Just like a car can't run without something under the hood, a game can't run without a skeleton of computer code. This skeleton is what we call the engine. 90% of what a game engine provides you is visuals and environment. So if you don't have the best visuals, then you don't have the best engine. You take a game that has sold, been a best-selling game, and then you say, it's like, okay, this game is close to what I want to do in my game. We'll modify this into something that we want. Two successful game engines have risen above the pack in recent years. Its Quake Engines and Epic's Unreal Engine are licensed more than any other. Licensing an engine allows the developer to take the backbone of a previously successful game and apply it to their new game. You know, use it as something kind of a springboard. The stellar example, of course, is Half-Life. To a large part, Half-Life was possible because they were able to build on this, you know, this kind of uh, baseline technology. Half-Life used a modified version of the Quake 2 engine. And while the two games look nothing alike, both operate from the same technical structure. Another totally different game in development on a modified Quake 2 engine is the third-person perspective, Anachronox. We tend to like license people's engines. It's very important for designers to really, really seriously un understand the technology they're using and really know the limits of it and push those limits so you can present a wonderful world and, and, and come up with new like, creative ideas on top of that technology.